nutrition in animals. Differentiate between autotrophism and heterotrophism. Autotrophism is the process by which living organisms make their own food, while heterotrophism is the process by which living organisms depend on their uh, depend on already made food, so they do not make food. So it states the function of the following palisade mesophilia, that is where photosynthesis takes place, and spongy mesophils layer, that's where photosynthesis takes place too, but they have spaces. Leaf veins, we have xylem and phloem that transport water and mineral salt, and phloem for transport of manufactured food. State and explain the adaptations of the leaf to photosynthesis. So the leaf contains chlorophyll to trap sunlight energy for photosynthesis. It also has broad lamina that provides a large surface area for absorption of carbon dioxide. The leaf has xylem vessels to supply water to the photosynthetic cells and for them to transport manufactured food. It has spongy mesophyll cells that has their spaces that allow circulation of air and the palisade mesophyll cells that have chlorophyll for photosynthesis. What is photosynthesis? It's the process by which plants make their own food by use of simple inorganic substances such as carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. The next question is state and explain factors affecting the rate of photosynthesis. The first factor is light intensity. So light provides energy for photosynthesis. So the rate of photosynthesis increases with increase in light intensity up to an optimum point where even if you increase light, other factors become limiting factors. Carbon dioxide concentration. So carbon dioxide is a raw material for photosynthesis and the more carbon dioxide concentration is there, then the, more, the higher the rate of photosynthesis up to optimum. Temperature. The rate of photosynthesis increases with increase in temperature. But too high temperature denatures the enzyme. Remember, photosynthesis is affected by enzymes. So too high temperature denatures the enzyme. So it is good up to optimum temperature. Water, water is also a raw material for photosynthesis, and therefore the higher the amount of water, the higher the rate of photosynthesis. Chlorophyll is also required for photosynthesis, and the higher the amount of chlorophyll, the higher the rate of photosynthesis. State three examples of monosaccharides. We have glucose, galactose, and fructose. What are the building blocks of the following carbohydrates? The building blocks is glucose, proteins, it's amino acid, lipids, fatty acid, and glycerol. State the importances of carbohydrates. So one, they are source of energy, or they are broken down to release energy. They are storage form of food, e.g. starch. They provide mechanical structure, uh, mechanical support, e.g. the cell wall, uh, cellulose in the cell walls of the plant cell. Another question is uh, explain the test for reducing sugars. So you put two ml or two centimeters cubed of uh, reducing sugar into a test tube. Then you add Benedict solution. You heat and boil observation if the color changes to blue uh, from blue to green to yellow to orange then a reducing sugar is present state and explain the properties of lipids they are soluble in water they are insoluble in water they dissolve in organic solvent to form an emulsion they are inert meaning that they are unreactive and they easily change into liquid so if you heat the lipids, uh, the fat, the solid ones, then they will change into liquids. Explain five functions of lipids. They are broken down to release energy, that is in absence of carbohydrates, and they are stored under the skin to act as heat insulators in our bodies against heat loss. Then they form the adipose tissue that makes the, uh, the plant uh, animals buoyant in water. That means that they can be able to float on water. And then they are components of plasma membrane.